Hmm, should I go with the dual plane intake or the single plane intake? Well, in this installment of Summit Racing Quick Flicks, we'll open up a series on basic high performance comparisons. Okay, so when it comes to choosing a carbureted intake manifold, there's there's several styles that you can you can pick from, and that includes air gap manifolds, tunnel rams, uh, dual quads. Uh, the most popular though are the basic dual plane and single plane manifolds. So we're going to talk about those two today, and then compare the styles. Uh, we'll start over here with your dual plane manifold, and you can see you've got uh, divided plenum on top, and each one of these will feed a bank of four cylinders on the engine and it'll feed the cylinders every other firing order or every 180 degrees of crank rotation. That's why you often hear dual plane manifolds called 180 degree uh, intake manifolds. Uh, another thing you'll notice about the uh, dual plane when you compare it to the single plane is uh, oftentimes the intake runners are a little bit longer and that contributes to uh, you know, some low end power numbers. So hence, uh, if you're looking for good low end power, um, good idle quality, uh, power within a 1500 to say 6500 RPM range, and just a good manifold for street or mild racing applications, uh, the dual plane is often the best choice for you. Okay, now over here we have our single plane intake manifold, and what you'll notice about this manifold is, of course, you've got the single plenum at the top, which feeds all eight of the engine cylinders. Uh, the induction pulse on this isn't going to be quite as clean as maybe the dual plant intake manifold where you have the, the four banks or the four cylinders being fed by each of the plenum. Uh, it's not quite as clean, but there's better airflow distribution in this design. And you'll also notice in most cases the intake runners are going to be a little bit shorter and more direct. And one final thing to point out is um, underneath the intake runners, there's usually a gap on this style of intake manifold. Uh, which keeps the runners separated from the engine heat and doesn't place the intake runners right on top of the engine like the dual plane style does. Uh, all these things add up to a better, higher RPM horsepower, say through 8,000 RPM or so, and it makes this a better style for racing applications. Now, if you're looking for a perfect example of a dual plane intake or a single plane intake, uh, look no further than what's on your screen right now because we've picked two of our more popular intake manifolds. Uh, over here we have the Edelbrock Performer intake manifold, the popular 2101, which is our dual plane. And then we have the Edelbrock Victor Jr. as our single plane intake manifold. And if you look below the screen in the description, you'll see a listing of some more of our popular intake manifolds. Uh, now the only question is, do you want to top this off with a vacuum secondary carb or a mechanical secondary carb? Sounds like another video. I'm not ready. <laughs> uh, you can look down below on the screen uh, and you'll see some other listings of popular intake manifolds and I don't like that. <laughs> These are two of our most popular styles. Uh, for more popular styles, uh, check out the vi uh, video description below the screen here. And if you have questions, uh, feel free to give us a call. That's too stuttery. I'll try one more. One more. <laughs> 